What is up my dudes? It is Alina and I'm a holistic nutritionist who helps people find balance one video at a time. And in this video, I'm going to help you lower your grocery bill while still eating super healthy. So let's get started. nutritionist and just as a youtuber who talks about health and wellness and posts and organizes events like wellness con the biggest comment or feedback that i get from my clients and friends is that i want to eat healthy and i want to eat or all organic and i want to get fresh produce and go to the farmer's market and do all these things but it costs way too much and it isn't as accessible for everyone. And that is why I've been wanting to do this video for so long. <laughs> While yes, there are plenty of health food stores, places like Whole Foods that are having skyrocketing prices on things that are organic or things that are locally grown and whatnot, I feel like the biggest thing that I want to say to clients and to you guys is to not let that stop you from exploring your options because there are many. And thankfully over the last few years, even places like Walmart have started to sell organic, locally grown produce and products. So in this video, I'm just gonna dive into a handful of tips to help make your grocery adventures out there way more accessible and way more affordable. So let's get started. All right, tip number one is to focus on getting deals on your staple foods. So staple foods are generally foods that you oftentimes eat every single week or that you find yourself buying every single week. This can be something like bananas for your smoothies or snacks or rice that you always have on the side of your meals or maybe you love broccoli and you always get broccoli. When we're trying to find deals for every single piece of produce, it can often feel super overwhelming. So focusing on the staple foods that you always get and looking out for deals on those things makes it less overwhelming and it helps way more in the long run. Another great deal to get staples on foods, especially the things that are unperishable like olive oil, rice, and things like that is actually to go to certain websites. Um, there's a website, I might be naming it wrong, but it's, I think it's called Brandless, and their whole model is that they want to help you get these uh, staple foods at a cheaper cost because there's no brand associated with it, and they use as little production cost as possible to make it affordable for you. Another way to look for prices like these is going for store brand versions of what you would already get. Step two, which might seem counterintuitive, but I'll explain, is not to follow all of the deals. One of the biggest tricks that grocery stores use to kind of scam you a little bit and get you to spend more is that they always have BOGO sales, buy one, get one free. And they always try to put it right at the entrance or at the end of aisles, that way you pounce on it. And oftentimes, these deals end up making you spend more money. It's truly an illusion. So for example, maybe you're getting meals, um, maybe you're getting green for all of your meals and then you see oh here's this one snack product buy one get one free buy one get one half off even though you're technically saving money you never would have spent that money anyways so being able to decipher whether or not that is a deal that's just trying to hook you in and get you to just pay them more or buy a product that they're trying to push off of their shelves sooner stay focused to the list that you pre-prepared and be able to identify whether or not that's something that you actually need and whether or not you were just pulled in because they created the illusion of the sale. Oh wait, but before we start, I have to tell you about our sponsor, and that is YoWa, or Your Wellness Academy. Now, Your Wellness Academy is like the Netflix of health education. If you've ever wanted to dive into topics like the mind-gut connection, how our eating habits impact our mental state, and diving deeper into it, into full-on courses rather than video snippets, or videos on how to shop properly, um, and so much more, then check out Your Wellness Academy today. For only $9 a month, you get access to so many different courses and videos all about how to live a more holistically healthy lifestyle one step at a time. So be sure to check out my links that I put down below for one of their sales going on right now. And with that said, let's dive into this video. Tip number three is to collect staple recipes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I, if I could think about it, I can probably list maybe two or three meals that are just go-to meals for Chris and I. So that could be chili, that can be tacos, um, or maybe spaghetti. And those staple meals are things that we always 
find in our rotation and we always go back to. Having a clear list of what those staple meals are on your phone to refer back to whenever you need to can be a great way to prevent another impulse buy. This leads me to tip number four, which is to plan and eat before you go to the grocery store. Oftentimes, grocery stores prey on people who have not planned ahead and who go in hungry by having at the end of their aisles usually salty, sugary foods. Especially when we're hungry, we wanna go for those things like the chips and the cookies and the snacks. And that's why oftentimes you see them in the front of those aisles as you're walking through. That way they can be an easy impulse buy before you get to the register. But if you not only plan ahead and have a clear list of what um, foods you want to make, on top of eating ahead, you are way less susceptible to impulse buying and falling prey to those advertising tricks that they put out for us. A great way that I love to plan ahead and great creative meals um, or access creative meals is through Pinterest. I know that Pinterest is associated with like crafts and maybe home decor and like planning for things um, or even travel, but Pinterest has countless and very specific recipes out there. You can literally type in anything from like pescatarian raw breakfast or like high protein hearty vegetarian breakfast or vegan breakfast. They're all there and it makes it so convenient to find new creative meals within any specifications that you might have for your dietary requirements. Tip number five is to cook for multiple meals at once whenever you can. So this is also considered, or it falls under the umbrella of meal prepping, but generally speaking, if you're already cooking a meal, maybe um, spaghetti, and you make enough for that one night, that's great, but that's a lot of energy that you put out, especially if you have a tight schedule that could have been used to make an even bigger batch, that way you have it for the future. Maybe you're making spaghetti and you make a huge batch of spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce is so easily freezable and it's something that you can have in your freezer for maybe even a week from then or even a month from then that you can de-thaw and make a quick meal out of in the future when you're in a rush. Going off of the whole spaghetti freezing thing, another great thing to do is to, whenever you can, utilize your freezer. Oftentimes we can buy a bunch of produce, maybe we bought a bunch of lemons or fruit and they're just going bad in the refrigerator because maybe you're too busy or maybe you didn't end up eating them and it goes to waste. Something that can help you save money and time is, for example, if you have um, strawberries that you know are gonna go to waste or grapes or lemons or mushrooms, you can chop those up and freeze them for smoothies or you can use the mushrooms and dethaw them for a spaghetti sauce or some type of meal in the future. But remembering to utilize your freezer in that way can save you so much money and prevent you from having to rebuy something that you didn't even use the previous time. All right, guys, that is it for my video. I hope that this was informative for you. And if it was, please leave a comment down below letting me know. Definitely like and subscribe. And um, of course, send this to a friend. And last but not least, be sure to check out our video sponsor, YoWa, Your Wellness Academy, because they have so many awesome online courses and there is a great promotion going on right now. Huge thank you to them. So with all that said, I will see you next time and leave you with the reminder to be gentle with yourself because life is about the journey and not the destination. All right, see you next time.